the graph of a quadratic function f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where a, h, and k are real numbers, and a is not zero, is the parabola curve, whose the vertex is at the order pair is k. The parabola is narrower than the basic function f of x equals x squared if the absolute value of the a is greater than one, like this example, If the absolute value of the A is between zero and one, the parabola is broader than be this case. And if A is greater than zero, or the leading coefficient is positive, the parabola opens upward and the vertex will be the minimum value of a function. The other way, if A is less than zero or negative leading coefficient, the parabola opens downward and the vertex will be the maximum value that you see in the graph here. So the, the top three graphs there, when A is greater than zero, and the below three graphs, when A is less than zero. If the absolute value of the A is between zero and one, the parabola is broader than be this case. And if A is greater than zero, or the leading coefficient is positive, the parabola opens upward, and the vertex will be the minimum value of a function. The other way, if A is less than zero, or negative leading coefficient, the parabola opens downward and the vertex will be the maximum value that you see in the graph here. So the, the top three graphs there, when A is greater than zero, and the below three graphs, when A is less than zero. Let's look at the example. For this example, we're gonna graph the quadratic functions accurately locating the vertices and the x-intercepts if any. In part A, the function is the f of x equals x plus two quantity square minus four. We rewrite it in the standard form as a times x minus h square plus k, where h k is the vertex. This case, we get a equals positive one, and the h equals negative two, and the k is negative four. The h k is the vertex, so negative two, negative four is the vertex for this parabola. The a is one which is greater than zero, the parabola opens upward. So with the vertex negative two, negative four. Negative two, negative four, starting right there and opens upward. The problem asks you to find the x intercept. X intercept means when y is zero. So for y equals zero, that means zero equals x plus two quantity square minus four. We can let's solve for the x value. We got four equals quantity x plus two square. Taking square root both sides, it's gonna be square root of the four equals x plus two. And make sure you put plus and minus sign when you take the square root. And this will tell us that x plus two equals positive two 
x plus 2 equals negative 2. That gives us x equals 0 for one of the x intercept, and the other one is x equals negative 4. And we can use this um, on the graph. So going to be 0, 0, one of them, and negative 4, 0 is another one. And the graph has the leading coefficient 1 and positive, so that means just the basic graph, but has a translation over. They move the HK from 0, 0 to the vertex negative 2, negative 4. Another example, function f of x equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3. If we're going to write it in the form of a times x minus h squared plus k with the property that the h is negative b over 2a and the k is the function at negative